Hey everyone, someone asked me to help them with a React range input slider. The implementation is pretty standard. Notice there is a handle change. So we'll just say handle change. And maybe let's print the value of the input that we have. And the input is this one input with type range and on input handler. Okay. So the app is already running and I'm going to open the browser, click on the spec. Let me zoom in a little bit and notice uh, it reloads the page the first time it visits the site and then it tries to change the values. Now let, let's prevent the reload first. The reload of a page happens because we hard coded the URL. So Cypress cannot prepare for it. What we can do instead is put the base URL into our config. So Cypress knows which site you are testing. And now if you click on the spec and it just starts running without any restarts. Okay. Now all these tests are pretty much the same. You visit the page, you get the slider, you invoke setting the value and then you trigger the change. Now notice that it doesn't show anything because we are doing it too early. We want to do the following. We want to confirm that the slider is visible. That will make our lives much easier. So the first test that doesn't do anything passes and the second one fails. So why don't we concentrate on it? So notice that the slider, if we just click, works, right? And it sets it to 50. And this is what we expect to find, but we never find when the test triggers, right? So here's the trick. If a trigger doesn't work, that means you have to change how you trigger the events. For inputs that are range, what you want to do, since our slider is configured to process on input event, you want to do a following. You want to say input, and then instead of this force true nonsense, just create an event, input, bubbles, true. And I believe it because React installs a top level handler, so it has to go up for it to be passed down. So now notice it works. All right. And we can update all the tests and even the very first one, but doesn't really change anything. And let's see how it works right now. Okay. Everything is pretty nice. And like, why do we need all the separate tests, right? Just have one test that changes values and validates things. So I'm going to remove all separate tests and just have a single test. And you notice how it went through the values of a slider. Perfect. And because it's such a common thing, and if we change the slider a lot in our application, it makes sense to add a command. So we're going to add a command set range and we need previous subject and we want to be an element because we want to create a child command and this is the subject and the value that we want to set. Now the subject will be a jQuery object. And the first thing we did, we invoked val method. Since we have a jQuery object, we can directly invoke value. And the second thing, we're going to trigger the input. And instead of that, we can say, okay, subject is a jQuery. And the first element is the dumb element. And we can say dispatch event and just pass the event. Okay. So right now it should be the same because we haven't actually used the custom command, but now we can say set range 30. And then we can say set range 50 and then 70. Oh, the last one should be 90. Okay. So it works. Only thing for our custom command, we do want to actually show something in the log. So the easiest thing is to decide this log, the big one, and say name, set range, and the value, actually the message is the value. So now in the command log, we actually see what is the range that we are setting. 
Okay, so this is how you would modify your test code if you're using React input type of range component.